In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up the hardware components of the AuthoSim. We recommend that you install the AuthoSim software before setting up the hardware. Please refer to the video segment on software installation for more details. However, you will require the fully connected hardware before you can access the AuthoSim software. Let's begin. Your AuthoSim upgrade kit consists of the following components. 1. AuthoSim sensor box. 2. AuthoSim eyepiece. This is the lens that is placed on top of the AutoSim display unit. 3. USB key or thumb drive. This contains the software installation package for a PC or a Mac computer, as well as an electronic copy of the installation manual. Please note that we no longer provide hard copies of product manuals. USB cable for AuthoSim. This USB cable is different from the USB cable that connects the AutoSim display unit to the computer. AuthoSim ophthalmoscope. This ophthalmoscope has a built-in movement tracking mechanism. Please note that you cannot use any ophthalmoscope with AuthoSim, but the AuthoSim ophthalmoscope can work like a regular ophthalmoscope. Ophthalmoscope Cable This connects the ophthalmoscope to the sensor box. If you did not receive all of the items shown here, please contact us immediately. Please note that you will need an AutoSim display unit to run the AuthoSim upgrade kit. If you have purchased the AuthoSim standalone system, you will receive an AutoSim display unit in addition to these other components. You should also note that a computer is required to run the AuthoSim, but is not provided. Please refer to the product manual to learn about system requirements for a suitable computer to run AuthoSim. Hardware Component Assembly Setup The AuthoSim Upgrade Kit will require an AutoSim base unit. For setup of the AutoSim base unit, refer to the video on the hardware installation of the AutoSim. Be sure to attach the eyepiece instead of the adult ear form into the cavity. Ensure that the built-in manual slider is installed facing up. This slider can be positioned either to the right or left, depending on your preference. Next, let's connect the sensor box and ophthalmoscope together. The OptoSim sensor box is designed to be used only with the OptoSim ophthalmoscope. Begin by connecting the remaining USB cable to the sensor box, and then into a second USB port on the computer. When first powered up, the display window of the sensor box will light up and show the AutoSim and OptoSim logos. To connect the OptoSim sensor box to the provided ophthalmoscope, first connect the four-pronged circular cable to the bottom of the ophthalmoscope. Connect the other end of the cable to the circular port at the top of the AuthoSim sensor box. The display window of the sensor box should now show a moving green crosshair that corresponds to the motion of the ophthalmoscope. The two graphs at the bottom of the display window are designed solely as indicators that the motion tracking mechanism is functioning correctly. If you do not see any motion in the green crosshairs when you move the ophthalmoscope, your unit may be malfunctioning. If your unit displays not connected, then you should check that the cable connections between the sensor box and ophthalmoscope are tight. Let's see how to properly use the OptoSim ophthalmoscope. Holding the ophthalmoscope properly is a must. Hold it vertical to the OptoSim when in use. This ensures the most accurate motion tracking. This position is also consistent with medical best practices. The unit will not function correctly if you hold the ophthalmoscope sideways. Note that it is also common practice to hold the ophthalmoscope in the same hand as the eye you're examining. For training purposes, you can manually adjust the size of the pupil. Use the dial on the side of the eyepiece to either dilate or constrict the pupil size. A larger pupil size will increase the amount of light entering the unit, thus making it easier to view the retina. For this reason, we recommend using the largest pupil size when first starting out. When not in use, place the ophthalmoscope to the side of the eyepiece on the base unit. The magnet in the handle of the ophthalmoscope will hold it in place. When storing, the components of the OptoSim should be put in the case provided as the sensor box and ophthalmoscope are both very fragile. This concludes the hardware setup component for the OptoSim ophthalmoscopy simulator. If you need technical assistance, 
All contact information is available on our website at www.otosim.com. One of our representatives will be happy to assist you.